what it says last night. Probably a little late. Um, it's coming from class right now. Um, but yeah, thank you all for being here. Uh, I'll let kind of Siani take it away. She's just going to kind of go over the next three, four, five weeks, however long it takes, just kind of the basics of replay. Um, and then hopefully we can eventually join y'all with the other um, replay. But um, she's uh, really good to learn from. She's taught a lot of people. She really knows this machine really well. Um, and I'll let her take it away. I would uh, come up here if you're yep. here for this and um, just uh, she'll take it away. Wow, thank, thank you, you for the thank you for the intro introduction. So we are So we're just gonna we're gonna start with the screens in front of us. So on the left screen is pretty much everything that's related to the Dreamcatcher. And then the right screen, it's also a touch screen. It's where it's what it's where it's gonna hold things from the Dreamcatcher. Mm -hmm. So starting on the left screen at the top where it's it has blinking red boxes on all of the servers, those are your inputs. We have the ability to have six inputs or like four inputs. And these big windows with the green box around it, those are your outputs. We are known to use red, blue, X, Y, L, R, A, B, gold, or silver to name those outputs. And so on the right screen, we have... Actually, no, going back to the left screen, sorry. We uh, At the bottom, where that little like upside-down pyramid is, that is a speed bar. It'll tell you how fast you're currently playing your replay or whatever's in the output, how fast that's currently playing. And then the uh, above the speed bar are your audio bars. So you can tell if what you're playing has sound or not. Right. Okay. So moving on to the, 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 the right screen, we have pages banks and then we have clips so at the bottom very bottom the last light blue bar it should say like pre-game maybe a sport like women's basketball and then like page three page four page five so stuff like that those are pages and they each have nine banks and so the nine banks are the columns um above it does that make sense and inside each of those banks, you have 10 slots, and we just call those, like, clip slots. And then um, when you put a clip in there, it gets a number in the top left, and that is what the, the clip ID name. And then over, uh, Addison, hit P on the keyboard. So P on the keyboard pulls up your playlist list. If you um, don't see it, then P is how you pull it up. And that's just where all your possible playlists that you make can go. Playlists are like a bunch of clips put together. Like yes. So since you brought it up, I will show you. Like a package. Yes. Okay. So when we build in-game packages... Do this one. You take the clips and you put them in a playlist slot, and then you uh, build from there. And by build, I mean you select the angles, you select your input, you select your outputs, and you select the order that it plays out. So this is a completed playlist. So this is also known as a package. 
And the packages can look all types of way. They can be play heavy. They can be uh, a, an emotion reaction package in slow-mo. Those are really fun to watch. And that all, that's all done through playlists. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom on the, the right screen, it says settings and diagnostic. You guys will be going in there a lot for setup. All right, so moving on to the actual system. This is a dream catcher. This, this one particular is dream catcher one. This is two, that is three. Starting in the window in the other room, that is four. And then the middle one is five and the one all the way at the end is six. We have our dream catchers on a network so we can send things back and forth. That's um, why we have sessions. It keeps everything organized. And I will get into sessions a little bit later. So on to the controller. We have A, B, C, and D at the top. A selects your first output. B selects your second output when you're not in playlist mode. So B is how you switch over ads. And if you want to press it, Josh... Yep, and then D highlights both. And then whatever the green outline is on, you have control over. So you can like play it, pause it, speed it up, slow it down. All kinds of junk. Scrub forward, scrub backwards. And so this lever is the T-bar. It controls your speed. So you can see how fast or how slow you're, you're playing out a, a clip. Um, Addison, Josh, if y'all want to load in um, a clip, any clip of your choice. And then you can cl click and hold or you can hit enter and then drag it over if you're going to do that. Yep. So because you had both highlighted, it went into both. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then so if you guys want to like play it out with the dog, with the, not the dog wheel, the T-bar. And then the jog wheel, you can scrub forward or you can scrub backwards. So the producer will, um, if a play happens, the producer is like roll back blue or roll back red or roll back X, roll back L. That's, that means for you to scrub back, to go backwards and to see what just happened again mm. moving on to other buttons we have the network play button and that is just going to play what you have in your outputs loop playlist that's how you cue your playlist from the top if you have it open and then in is how you mark your endpoint so your endpoint is it's going to be a little bit different every time but it's at the top of the play. So it, say we're looking at a fast break, it's right before the speed picks up. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And so it, it changes from the action on, on the court to what the actual sport you're doing is. But it's just, it's, it's the moment before the action happens. So that way when we get to the replay on air, we're in the right spot. So out point, the out button is, it's just like the in button, but it's it's your out point. It's where you want the clip to stop. And the out point is not necessarily the same point as in you would get out on air, but it's, it's way after. So let's take this honesty Scott Grayson jumper. So her endpoint, I would probably do it like right about here. And then the director is going to say roll and that is the cue point you want to listen for. So you roll it. 
So he about here is where the director would get out of the replay. But I would make my out point way after her hero shot and if there is celebration. So like kind of when the camera comes back out to reset is when I would do my out point. So you mark out and then you hit page clip and it pops up into wherever your anchor is highlighted. So Josh, you see that blue slot on yours in Addison? If you click the empty slot, right? Yeah, click and hold it. You see how it turns blue? Mm -hmm. So now your clip is anchored there. So when you clip it, when you hit page clip, it's gonna pop up over there. Mm -hmm. If you clip something off and you don't see it, it's probably because you weren't anchored and so all you have to do is just click and hold the slot where you want it, have it turn blue, page clip, and it'll pop up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to edit the clip, you load it into your out point, you hit delete on the keyboard. And depending on what you want to edit, if you want to edit your in point or your out point, you would hit in or out. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So if you clear a mark out, you're deleting everything after your new out point? You have to clear it first, mm -hmm. and then you can change it. So, okay, so say I make my out point right here. So we queue it up. Boom. That's no good, right? Mm -hmm. So you hit delete, you hit out. And then you, we immediately have the entire clip available and then some, but not uh, like a whole lot. So you're deleting the outpoint. Yeah, you're deleting where you, by setting an outpoint, you're telling the clip, I want you to stop right here. Okay. By so deleting this, that. The system automatically just loads in this, like, you know, a bit of extra footage in case you do want to change the outpoint. Yeah. Okay. But you don't have a, a ton of extra. No, yeah, but just enough to. Yeah. yeah. I tend to clip all my clips a little fat, just so um, we don't miss any good reactions. Because mm -hmm. then you, you can, it's always best to like trim down than to go back and like reclip something because you need more at the end. Which, mm -hmm. I, it does happen sometimes, but if you clip your clip fat, then it'll happen less often. And then if you look at your clips in the corner, the right hand corner, there should be a number, not on every clip, but on, on certain clips. If you just click on a clip that has a number in the corner and then you hit A on the keyboard, that pulls up multiple angles for you to select from mm -hmm. for whatever your heart desires and if you can like click and hold it and then like put it in a playlist if you want or you can separate it whatever you need to do and then to come out of that page you just hit escape and now we're back to center moving on to your settings and diagnostics there's a lot under this menu. You will mostly be going into inputs and outputs. If you click on inputs, edit inputs name at the top. Yeah, uh, go back. Uh, hit and uh, top left. Yeah. So scroll down to inputs. Yep, and then edit input names at the top. Now you can change the names of your inputs to whatever is necessary, whatever the book says. Now, now that I brought up the book, the production book gets sent out before every show and it tells us how we are to route our server. So under Slack, under the production book channel, whoever sent out the link for whatever show you're scheduled for. 
So clicking on the last link, it's the uh, women's college basketball, LSU versus Auburn. So <clears throat> you will have trouble with this link. Just saying. Oh, it's impossible to like zoom out and click on what you want. Yep. So you the box app. Mm, the box app is even worse. It's bad, but it's easier to look at it within the box app. Like, yeah. It's easier to load I have the app on my phone, but I just wanted to close up to show you guys on a bigger screen. But yeah, so under replay one, that corresponds with server one. Replay two, server two. Replay three, server three. All, all the way and so on and so on. Except... It starts over in the other room. Mm -hmm. So, if 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 we were to use the other room like we do in football, then server four, operator four, as what I mean by it goes on. But if we're doing like two different shows, like basket linear basketball in here, video board in there, server six is actually operator replay one, and then that middle bench is replay two. And then by the window seat is replay three. So it, it's mirrored. And so you see, you find your replay and you pretty much copy it. Mm -hmm. So like how it says, uh, one dash one game, camera one, CCU four. You know, this looks like Sam. <laughs> yeah. I would just do the same thing up here so that way my my 1-1 one one, DC1 one, input 1 is game it says game and then the one before it says that it's camera 1 Are they the same within each sport like when no. it's no. sometimes different It depends on the engineering or however this part gets done okay. You just follow the book Siani, yes. Do you want red or blue or X or Y up there at all? Would that help uh, you guys? I'll take red up there. Just red? Yeah. You want an all three? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry to no, thank you. <laughs> How dare you be helpful? <laughs> and um, yeah. So different servers hold different things because sometimes um. Server 3 can route things for video board, but not actually use anything on server 3, any 3 dash whatever. It's, it's just all about how the producer wants to work and then how the book is also laid out. Any questions so far? Are you gonna are you gonna get more of the packages in a bit? Um I can answer your question about packages, but I was saving packages for more in depth. Okay, yeah, that's no. always no, 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 no. Give me give me, give me your question. It was just like I question. wanted to know what it looked like putting a package together, like trimming it and also the speed. Mm -hmm. Are you like building it with the speed kind of built in or as the package is running, are you sitting there with a T bar like like or do most packages play it? Most packages play Most at a hundred percent speed, okay. so we have sound I've on never them. Never looked that close. <laughs> and so, you can set it to a different speed, but it, it's mostly out of a at a hundred, depending on the action. Usually, there's it's a this is a lot about learning the rules and then how to like break the rules. You'll you know? get more. In, I know you'll get more in the packages. Yeah. So I don't want to 